Hey everybody. Well, we've got the uh, leading edge of the uh, tank covers glued down. That that was a big step. Um, so tomorrow I should be able to put the uh, the nut plates in that section. Um, I got the nut plates all or the holes for all the nut plates drilled in this one both front and in the rear so tomorrow i can start riveting nut plates on and this side will be pretty well done as far as the covers go um i found out that i was having a little bit of trouble trying to put the nut plates down the ribs uh trying to get the rivets to go in because i was drilling the hole um through the through the wood itself and everything uh, exactly the same size as the rivet itself well, what I found out was that some of the nut plates have a very slight burr on the in the hole and it won't let the rivet go through so I fought that for quite some time before I figured that out uh, I thought that they were all perfectly the same size of well, that little burr on the inside of a few of them made all the difference in the world uh, getting the tanks uh, in and out is going to be tight now that I have this piece put on the front trying to get them to go around this and underneath that block right there because the bottom edge slips underneath that block uh, makes it really really tight but i got it out uh kind of surprised me i thought i had uh, locked it in there permanently for a little while but got it out so i know they fit so happy with things so far going well uh, i'll be glad to get the covers done though and then start moving on to to other things now uh, the covers have been kind of a, a hurdle and the fuel tanks and I just as soon have that uh, That part done and behind me so That's all I got. Tomorrow, another good day. Thanks for watching. Please uh, like, and if you want, uh, make comments. I will try and answer. Uh, if there is something that you would actually like to see me actually do a build talk on, and how I did it, I'll, I will freely do that, but I need to know. So. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.